like I did need to save. I actually did not need to come back to uh, to this town for anything. But I did forget one of the most important things. Let's look at Luke's text. Holy crap. Lightning 2. Ice 2. Fire 2. He's on his way to learning Dark Bomb. Ugh. I assume that we'll start getting dual text for him almost immediately. Damn. Freaking Luke, man. Luke. You're my boy, Luke. Let's get out of here. Um, and let's get on the epoch. Because we have nowhere else to go. And immediately we get into another cutscene upon boarding the epoch. We're getting some interference from an enormous gate. It can't be Lavos. What? That's... What is it? I don't see anything. I see blackness. Oh. That's the ocean palace, isn't it? Looks kind of different. That cannot be good for the fish. That can't be good for anything living underwater. And I'm sure nobody in the history books wrote about a mass death of all the fish. Nobody seems to care about that kind of stuff. But everything that happens afterwards, that's, that's going to be awful. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this. Don't put an electric fence underwater. The hell am I looking at here? That looks end game. I mean, the ocean palace inside kind of looks pretty menacing, but I didn't have too much trouble inside there. But that... Is that the ocean palace risen again? Because that does not look good, and I don't think I want to go through that. Oh, good lord. Yeah, everybody's shocked. What the hell is that? Feels like we're going to get sucked in there. The ocean palace hath risen. Surely it doth beckon us. The undersea palace? This is impossible. Nothing is impossible when you believe in magic. But I instead of going through there, in I instead of doing that, I'm going to try. That is the button to, to move through time periods. No, that's the regular menu. I didn't think you could get through the menu when you were on the, uh, on the epoch, but you can. This is the button I'm looking for. Then we need to start doing some side questing. Uh, no, I actually want to go forward in time. First place that we want to go is to the future. Let's go there. Because now that we have a flying epoch that can actually travel around the world map. Did we just fly all the way around the world? Whatever. Now that we can actually fly around the world map and we have a uh, dependent, we can actually open up all the things that I couldn't before. The hell is that? That's a new place, but I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go to familiar areas, and you're not letting me go to familiar areas. Here we go. This is where I wanted to go. You're here too? Damn you, why are you here? I think I want to head further over here, and then down here. Should be where the door is. This is Trandome. That is not where I wanted to go. Actually, I could go to Trandor. Trandome, I should say. Not Trandor. Because there is another one here, but that was not the one that I was thinking of. Let us open the door! The pendant begins to glow, thank you. Plus we can feed ourselves in the Inertron. Oh wait, no we can't. And in here we get a full ether. A gold stud. And a magic tab. Let's take a look at that... Um, gold stud, because that sounds like an accessory to me. Sounds like an earring to be honest with you. Let's see what that does. MP use cut by 75%. That's ridiculous. And that's going on Lime, yeah. Gold stud. Ah, oh, 75%. That's ridiculous. She can start using some of her highest level stuff for just one then. Ah, oh, that's going to be sweet. When I bring her back into the party if I do. Speaking of which, we now have all the party members, so feel free to start casting your votes uh, for who you want to bring along uh, to the final battle. HP MP restored, but you're still hungry. So, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, you've seen everybody. You've seen everybody. But, and everybody seems determined to get Vash, don't they? They sure do. They sure do. 
<laughs> really? We got the happy music playing whenever I get in this? <laughs> Alright, we need to go into Bangor Dome, which was the place that I wanted uh, that I wanted to go. I remember this is where the gate was. And yes, the pendant begins to glow. So now we can keep on going. And we find three treasure chests in here. Give me, give me that. Got a charm top, full ether, and a wallet. We found somebody's wallet. Is this a good thing? All right, let's see. Uh, what is this wallet? Turns experience into gold. That'll be good when I'm maximum level. But besides that, I'd, I'd, I'd rather get the experience. My gold is fine right now. And then, uh, what was the other thing that we got? Charm top. Is that, uh... Maybe Jojo can wear it? Nope. Okay. What is this charm top, then? You confuse me with your names, game. Charm top. It's an accessory? Charm power up, so it's for Jojo still. Actually, let's, let's organize you guys. Alright, so it's an accessory for Jojo. I, I don't think I'll use that. Once again, I've never been a big fan of stealing. Uh, well, there are certain games where I like stealing. This is definitely not one of them. In the majority of games, I don't like to steal. Um, it's rare that, I, that you'll see me, you know, making an attempted effort to steal. Now... I believe we need to head here. This is Aerostone, definitely. Uh, but I do believe that this is going to require some fight, so I'm actually going to save outside. So let's head inside the Aerostone. Now that I have saved... The fights aren't going to be that tough, I don't think, especially since we're back in a, in a dungeon that we've been before. But still, you know, there's no, there's no harm in being too cautious. Let's... Let's go down here. This is where the dungeon was, if you remember. Now, I think that I want to go... Jeez. I think I want to go east here. Wait for these guys to go by. Then I can go up and around. There we go. This, this is starting to come back to me. It's been a while, though. Uh, I don't think I can avoid these. Um, oh, I did. Nice. I, we will show off mages eventually, don't worry, but not on these guys because you're not going to get a feel. Sorry. Ah, jeez. Uh, you're not going to get a feel for, for how strong he is or how weak he is based on enemies that we fought so long ago that really anybody could be taken on. Uh, there's the door, so I had to go the wrong way. This is, uh,. What I meant earlier when we were here, when I was like, "Oh, I guess we uh, we can't, we're not going to be going further in the dungeon." This was the spot, the spot that I was talking about. Now, shouldn't I? I'll just take you on, so I don't have to worry about you. Yeah, one shot at these enemies. These are like really old enemies. So if you hold L and R, and then hit the button. Remember, that was the code or whatever. Then you can actually go to where you need to go. The pendant begins to glow, and I think that's kind of a dick move for them to have you try to remember a code from, like, the beginning of the game here. And there is a tab here. It's a power tab. Now, once uh, once I do decide the final party based on, you know, any votes that I get, then I'll start distributing those. But that's not going to be until the very end. We get a Lumen Robe there, which is already useless, I think. An Elixir Hit Ring and a gold earring. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, I believe the Lumen Robe is uh, for women only, and I think that's the one that I didn't grab before. Magic defense plus five, so I mean, if, if I'm desperate for magic defense, I guess it's good. Uh, but there are some things that I do remember in terms of accessories also picking up. Uh, there is strike plus ten. Wow. Let me go ahead and put that on Kyra. And then, Power Glove on Novin can be changed to... Where is it? Gold Earring! Max HP up by 50%. He's almost at 1,000! Good lord. You... You need to slurp yourself. Can just, like, everybody turn their head. You're not watching, right? Oh, that's disgusting. How can you reach down there? Okay. 
Well, you can look back now. That was gross. Now, I think that's actually it here. I think that's actually all we, we need to get in Aeris Dome. So, uh, actually, is this a shortcut that opened up for me? That would be awesome if this was a, a shortcut. It is kind of a shortcut. Ah, damn it, I got in a fight. Surprisingly, no dual techs were learned. And I don't know. I don't know. Sh shouldn't somebody be learning a dual tech with them? I guess the, the, the level 2 magic spells aren't getting... Um, wait, how am I getting in here again? That's oh, right, I stand here. They, they don't have very many dual techs, but... You assume that he'd have at least one with with somebody. You know, he needs dual text with, with everybody else. Luckily, I am able to, to ignore these fights because they're not even worth my effort, to be honest with you. They're too easy. Too easy. So we can head on out of here. And... What is this? Hey, fellas, look! The seed sprouted! Yeah, I think that's because we told uh, the woman in 12,000 BC to drop it. I think. I could be mistaken, though. So let's get out of here. Where we told the woman in 12,000 BC? Secretly planet! So, actually, we are done in 2300 AD. We need to move through time. Let's go to not the apocalypse now. We need to go to the present. Which is 1080. Apparently. I don't know why the apocalypse technically isn't called the future as well, but it is not. That is just the apocalypse. Now, there is a place that we need to go, which is right freaking here. With this thing hovering overhead. We need to head back into the Hecaron Cave, but once again, because there are, there might be fights in here, I'm going to save, just in case. Once again, can never be too cautious. We need to head into the Hecaron Cave. Once again, I don't anticipate having a tough time here. Just wanna, wanna make sure I cover all my bases. Especially since I've already lost footage in this game. Do wanna save as often as I can. Now, there's no real other path to go here. I actually don't e don't even think I, sh I showed that there was a something here to that could be opened with uh oh, they're not me through that way. Uh, that could be opened with the pendant. But if I remember correctly, it is down here. I don't remember seeing it. It's been a long time, but I know there's one here. I knows it. I can feel it in my bones. And my nugget bones. And there it is. There it is. Way towards the end of the dungeon. Here we get the wall ring. Yeah, you know, we came all this way for the wall ring. Huh? There's something else in here. What in the world? And we got a dash ring. Two rings in one. Let's take a look at those rings. Uh, we are going to be finding some good equipment, I should think. Uh, let's not put it on him. How's this compared to the hit ring? What are we looking at? Black Rock, uh, Kyra can wear. So Limea could wear that, right, I believe? So this is this is where the triple techs come in. Uh, when when uh, there's no Vash in your party, you can't normally learn triple techs. Watch where this stuff comes in. Magic 